Speakers are incredibly useful devices that allow us to turn electrical energy into sound. We can use them to play our favorite tunes or to listen to somebody over the... We can use them to play our favorite tunes or listen to somebody over the phone. As it turns out, the Circuit Playground Express happens to have a speak. Where is that coming from? Aha, I found it. Looks like my evil twin left me a present. Nice prank, jerk. Since he left a Circuit Playground on my desk, Let's have some fun with it, but first, let's talk about how a speaker works. We start with a permanent magnet that's in a tube, or donut shape. We have one side that's north, and the other that's south. We put a coil of wire around another tube, or rod. Together, this coil and rod are known as a voice coil, and they move independently in and out of the magnet's hole. When we put an electric current through the wires on the voice coil, we create an electromagnet. One side will be north, and the other will be south, just like our permanent magnet. And like permanent magnets, opposite poles will attract, which means the voice coil will move toward the magnet. If we switch the direction of the electric current, the poles on the electromagnet will swap. Now, we have the same poles facing each other, so the voice coil will be repelled away from the permanent magnet. To use this motion to create sound, we add a cone of paper, wood, plastic, metal, or some other material to create a sort of diaphragm. As we switch the electric current back and forth, the voice coil moves in and out of the permanent magnet, which moves the diaphragm. This rapid back and forth motion creates pressure waves in the air, and we call these pressure waves sound. Here is an example of a small speaker. You can see the permanent magnet that sits underneath the clear plastic diaphragm. The upper part of the diaphragm is held onto the metal casing by a flexible material which is known as a suspension. The voice coil is attached to a ring of flexible material known as a spider, which allows the voice coil to move only up and down. Interestingly enough, our Circuit Playground Express has a built-in speaker and an amplifier capable of giving it enough power to pump out sounds at a decent volume. An amplifier takes an electric signal, say your favorite song, and then increases the amount of current going out to other devices, like speakers. Some amplifiers can be small, like this simple board, and they're good for driving small speakers, like my clear plastic one. Some amplifiers can be big, like the one built into the stereo receiver. These are capable of powering large home theater sound systems with multiple speakers. If the speaker oscillates once per second, also known as 1 hertz, you would see the diaphragm moving, but you would not hear a sound. The speaker needs to oscillate back and forth at least 20 times per second, or 20 hertz, for you to start hearing it. Humans are capable of hearing sounds from about 20 hertz to about 20,000 hertz. Dogs, on the other hand, can hear things from about 67 hertz all the way up to about 45,000 hertz, which is why they seem to be able to pick up on things that we can't hear. Instruments, like this piano, work by creating sounds close to one frequency at a time. For example, if I press the middle C key, the piano will create a sound at around 261.63 Hz. Each key can be pressed to produce sound around a specific frequency. This also holds true for other instruments. It just might not be a key that's pressed to create the sound. We can combine these sounds at specific frequencies, also known as notes, to produce what we call music. Let's put together some notes on our Circuit Playground Express to create a simple song. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is easy to play, and it's also public domain. We'll play the first two bars, C, C, G, G, A, A, G. The black filled in notes are quarter notes, and the hollow notes are half notes. Feel free to make the rest of the song, or a different song, if you wish. In Make Code, go to Loops and drag an On Start block to the work area. From Music, drag a Set Volume block to underneath On Start. This allows us to control how loud our song will be played. Let's crank up the volume some. Change the value to 200. From music, drag set tempo to underneath on start. Change the tempo to 60 beats per minute. This should offer a slow enough tempo for us to hear the song. From input, drag an on button A click block to the work area. Go to music and drag a play tone at middle C for one half beat to under the on button click block. Change the one half beat to one fourth beat, as this corresponds to a quarter note. 
go back into music and snap a rest block under the play tone block. Change the rest to 1 8 beat. This won't follow the music exactly since we're not supposed to be resting, but it will allow us to hear the distinct notes as they're being played. Add another middle C for 1 4th beat to the list followed by another 1 8 beat rest. Repeat this process for two middle G notes, each at 1 quarter beat and each followed by a 1 8 beat rest. Do it again for two middle A notes. Drag a final play tone block to the list. Change the note to middle G and change the timing to one half beat, which corresponds to that longer held note in the song. Press the A button in the simulator to listen to your song. Once you're satisfied with it, download and copy it to your Circuit Playground Express. Press the A button and you should be greeted by your glorious magnum opus or the start of one anyway. To turn this into a prank, you would just need to play the same song over and over again. I'll leave that part to you. With that, let's end on a high note.